गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल ललित सर टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट हीट चैप्टर फोर स्टैंडर्ड सेवन पार्ट टू डियर स्टूडेंट्स वी अंडरस्टैंड इन पार्ट वन अबाउट हॉट एंड कोल्ड एंड क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर एंड वी ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द वॉट इज द टेम्परेचर द टेम्परेचर इज अ रिलायबल मेजर ऑफ द हॉटनेस ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज इट्स टेम्परेचर तो टेम्परेचर इज मेजर बाय अ डिवाइस कॉल्ड थर्मोमीटर एंड वी ऑल्सो अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द वॉट द प्रिकॉशन वी शुड टेक केयर वेन वी मेजर द टेम्परेचर विद द क्लिनिकल थर्मोमीटर वी ऑल अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द मेजरमेंट ऑल्सो and we know how to use the clinical thermometer we also know the temperature of human body normally does not go below 35 degree and not goes above 42 degree that is why the range of the clinical thermometer is 35 to 42 degree celsius so we know that the range of the thermometer also we understand everything now today we learn about laboratory thermometer the students with the term itself it tells us what is the use of the thermometer this thermometer which is used in the lab that is called the laboratory thermometer students there are different different type of thermometers we have where we can see here the different types of thermometers we can see where we can see the maximum and minimum minimum temperature of the previous day reported in a weather reports here also there are two types of the thermometers the thermometer which can measure maximum temperature or thermometer can measure minimum temperature both the type of temperatures can be measured with the thermometer also it has one more type that is maximum and minimum thermometer where that will show the temperature of entire day that is maximum and minimum so this thermometer is we can use to measure the temperature that temperatures have the range minus 10 degree to to 110 degree celsius so this is the range of the thermometers that is laboratory thermometer this thermometers are used in the labs so we can measure it easily the temperatures of the lab why it is used in the lab because sometimes some equipments some medicines or some kind of preparations can be made in the lab only some kind of the temperatures so it is used in the laboratory so we can find out how much temperature is required to make the particular product so it is used for that so again we can also have a question why we cannot use the lab thermometers for human that will come to know before that we will know that about we learn about the activity of this is activity 4.4 there is nothing much with the activity dear students here we can see this just you have to put a beaker and this thermometer is there and you have to measure the temperature what is the temperature and how to measure the temperature in the laboratory thermometer the laboratory thermometer should be kept on upright position and then only you can measure the temperature in this also you have to measure the temperature by keeping the that thermometer in the sources sources means suppose you have taken a hot water so you should keep it the laboratory thermometer in it and then you have to measure while in the clinical thermometer what you have to do in the clinical thermometer you can directly after removing the temperature the thermometer from the human body 
suppose you have kept in the mouth so you when remove then you can measure it kya kar sakte hain hum ki jaise kisi ke muh mein humne temperature मेजर करने के लिए ह्यूमन बॉडी में डाला है तो बाहर निकाल कर उसको मेजर कर सकते हैं बट इसमें हम ऐसा नहीं कर सकते क्यों बिकॉज वंस द लेबोरेटरी थर्मोमीटर कम्स इन द कॉन्टेक्ट विद द वेदर इट विल इमीडिएटली चेंज द टेम्परेचर विच इज अवेलेबल इन दी एनवायरमेंट दैट्स वाई वेन एवर वी चेक द विथ लेबोरेटरी थर्मोमीटर द टेम्परेचर शुड बी चेक when it is in the available in the sources sources means any liquid any kind of hot object which is where you have kept for temperature measurement understand that is why we don't use the laboratory thermometer to measure the human body temperature okay so this is the activity which is shown you that easily you can understand by reading this temperature measurement now students here the question is why does the mercury not fall or rise in a clinical thermometer when taken out of mouth why it happens jab hum mercury jo clinical thermometer hai uske andar jo mercury hai upar jaane ke baad immediately wapas us bulb mein kyun nahi jata hai kaun se bulb mein here you can see this bulb why it is not fall immediately aisa kyu hota hai whereas in the laboratory thermometer it falls immediately because here there is a kink there is a kink as a kink which is given here which do not allow to fall the mercury in the bulb so it stops immediately it do not allow to fall the mercury in the bulb that is why we can measure the temperature even we have the understand in the precaution when you remove it from the human mouth you have to sterilize it and you have to shake it well to take the mercury in this bulb once you shake it once you shake it well then it will go in this mercury bulb that is why the immediately mercury will not fall in the bulb now students you can understand this difference between the clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer so nowadays there are a lots of thermometers available in the market because the mercury which is i just have told you in the previous video that which is very dangerous and which is will kill the person even if it is break in the mouth of the human so that is not used nowadays the digital thermometers are available which do not use the mercury and it is very easy to measure the temperature so what is the difference between a clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer so in the clinical thermometer the range of the temperature is 35 degree to 42 degrees celsius whereas in the laboratory thermometer the range is minus 10 degree to 110 degree celsius in the clinical thermometer is used for the measurement of the human temperature whereas the laboratory thermometer is used to measure the weather environment or it is also used to measure the temperature of the lab so in the clinical thermometer the kink is available which do not allow to fall the immediate mercury in the bulb whereas there is no facilities like this available in the laboratory thermometer the students now you can understand this same topic with the animated video hello students we learned about clinical thermometer which is used only to measure the temperature of the human body but do you think we need only to measure the temperature of the human body there are also many situations we need to measure the temperature 
we measure the temperature of the environment we measure the temperature of the boiling water or temperature of the cold object so how do we measure it we learned that the clinical thermometer has a specific range that is between 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius but you know the boiling point of water is 100 degree celsius and freezing point is 0 degree celsius so such temperature cannot be measured using clinical thermometer if we use the clinical thermometer for such temperature the thermometer may breaks that is why we cannot use clinical thermometer for measuring temperature of other objects clinical thermometer can be used only to measure the temperature between 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius so to measure the temperature of other objects we use laboratory thermometer which has a broader scale that is its temperature ranges from Minus ten degree Celsius to one hundred and ten degree Celsius, and we can use the laboratory thermometer to measure the temperature of variety of objects like temperature of water or any other liquid. Let's see how it works. Here, the main thing is reading needs to be noted while the thermometer is in contact with the objects. you know clinical thermometer can be taken out from the mouth and you can note down the reading the measuring level does not fall down easily because there is a constriction or the bend or the kink inside it we are calling it as kink which prevents falling down of mercury but in laboratory thermometer does not have a kink therefore the mercury level falls back immediately as soon as you take out the thermometer from the object that is the bulb should be in contact with the object whose temperature is to be measured if we need to measure the temperature of the boiling water you must take the measurement while the thermometer bulb is immersed in water and we must hold the thermometer upright not tilted but the clinical thermometer it doesn't matter if we tilt the thermometer a little bit to change the position of the thermometer the heat available around it changes so that we may get different reading so need to hold exactly upright so in most of the laboratory if you have seen there is a clamp stand to hold the thermometer clamp stand is there that holds the thermometer straight up without changing the position or without disturbing it whether we are able to use the laboratory thermometer to measure our human body temperature because the range is from minus 10 degree celsius to 110 degree celsius and our human body temperature is between 35 degree celsius and 42 degree celsius but can we use it no because how we are measuring the temperature of human body we are keeping the thermometer bulb inside the mouth under your tongue and we will be taking out then only we can take the measurement is it but if we are using laboratory thermometer instead of clinical thermometer we cannot take it out if we are taking out the thermometer the temperature reading falls and we cannot get the exact temperature the bulb should never touches the surface or walls of the container that is if we keep the boiling water in a mug the bulb should not touches the bottom or the sides of the mug we need the bulb should be surrounded from all sides whose temperature we need to measure if the temperature of the water is to be measured then from all sides of the bulb there should be the water whose temperature is to be measured and there are some precautions like we are having it in the clinical thermometer some precautions are same because the construction is more or less same 
we have to handle with care to prevent the breaking in both cases in both clinical thermometer and in laboratory thermometer it is made up of glass and the mercury is inside if the glass breaks mercury falls down is it and the mercury as we have learned it is a toxic substance and it is very difficult to dispose of if the thermometer breaks and next is wash before and after use thus we are following in the clinical thermometer also and the new thing here is hold the thermometer such that the bulb is surrounded by the objects on all sides okay and the thermometer should be kept upright not tilted these two the last two are the important things which we have to keep in mind in the case of laboratory thermometer other than the clinical thermometer okay hope you understood the difference between clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer thank you so friends i hope you understood now the difference between the clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer the use of the laboratory thermometer it's okay this is important points which we understood here in the clinical thermometer and laboratory thermometer now in the next video we know about the transfer of heat which is very very important point how the heat transfers from one point to the another point which is we can say here this is a transfer of heat what is the conduction what is the convection these things we will understand about the next video thank you